Hello friends! Uh, today I would like to record a video, probably a series of videos or maybe one long video with a number of distinct sections. I'm not sure which yet, but um, this video will accompany the presentation I'll be giving at the 2015 TIES conference on, uh, the title of it is really dry, Automating Workflows with Form Sheets and Add-ons. Uh, basically what I'm going to demo is how you could re uh, create a sort of observation system in Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets and then use some add-ons to make that data uh, much more usable. And today I'm going to just walk you through the entire process of creating something simple. You use your creative brain to think of ways that you could use it yourself. So I'm going to just show you what I've got set up here so far. I have a form. This is the editable form. And so um, I'm going to be asking whoever completes the form to tell me who they are. So in this example, it's an administrator who's going to be observing a teacher. So the administrator will choose their name from the list. They will type in the name of the teacher they're observing. They're going to enter that teacher's email address. And then they're going to rank them or rate them on these various items. Classroom management, organization, rapport with students, and their grooming habits, which probably should be at the very top of the list because we know how important that is. So that's um, the editable form. Here's what the form will look like to users. This is the end user view. So in a drop-down menu, the administrator will choose their name. They will type the name of the teacher, they'll type the teacher's email address, and they will rate them on those various categories. And they will submit. Here we have the spreadsheet created by the form. This is where the submissions will end up. And over here in my Google Drive, I'm going to just share, you, share with you my organizational structure for all of this. So I have a folder that contains the entire system. And I've got the observation form responses spreadsheet. Here's the form itself. This is a handout I'm working on. You can kind of ignore these two items for right now. And later on, I'm going to show you how you can use an add-on called Autocrat to automatically generate printable PDFs or Google Documents for each submission of the form. And you need folders in which to place those documents. We're going to create a template, we're going to do a sort of mail merge, and those documents are going to go into this folder. Furthermore, all of the documents created when a form is submitted will go into this folder, but we'll use a special trick to have all of Julie Andrews' submissions go into this folder. All of Mary Anderson's submissions will go into this folder. All of Rick Jones' submissions will go into that folder. I think you get the idea. The beauty of doing this is that um, I can share this folder then with Julie Andrews and she can have easy, immediate access to all of her submission documents. She doesn't need to see Mary Anderson's and Rick Jones' and Jane Austen's. So this will be coming up later in the demo. For right now, let's just um, make sure our spreadsheet and our form are working. So I am the administrator, Jane Austen, and I'm going to be observing a teacher, Mickey Anderson. And Mickey Anderson's email address is manderson at notarealschool.org. And we're going to rate Mickey on these items and submit. And immediately after submitting, I like to try and catch it before it even happens. I'll submit it and jump over to the spreadsheet and watch the data show up in the spreadsheet because that's really fun to do. So here we can see we've got the timestamp of when this happened and all of the data from that form coming in here. So I'm going to just go ahead and do it again I'm going to submit another one. This time I'm going to submit as John Smith. And if your name is Randy Olson, I apologize for the 
grooming habits score. I'm just trying to make it interesting. Okay, so we should now have two rows of data. This is getting interesting. So hopefully you know enough about Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets and how form data ends up in a spreadsheet, yada, yada, yada. This is very basic form stuff right here. The problem with forms is that sometimes this data is not very useful to us. Um, it, if you have a narrative, that's really what I should have in my form. I don't have a narrative. Let's add that. Sorry about that. I thought I was all, all ready to go here. I'm going to add a paragraph text field. I'm not going to make this one required. The rest of them are required. You cannot submit this form unless you complete those items. I'm going to make this one so it's not required. And I'm going to put it at the very bottom of the form here. Okay, so there we have the summary item at the very, very end. And one thing I'm going to do, here we see the summary at the end, here. Uh, let's submit one more example then, including some summary text. And I'm going to go get some Laura Mipsum text, because we all love that, right? And Edward is quite a stellar performer, smells good, all that. And here's my summary of this observation. I'll submit that. And now let's go look at our spreadsheet and getting back to the usability of data when it ends up in a spreadsheet. Numeric data is really kind of nice to have in a spreadsheet because we can create charts and graphs and yada, yada, yada. When we get uh, text put into a spreadsheet, this is unwieldy and not very usable. It's not um, in a pretty format. That's why we're going to use Autocrat to create documents in just a few moments. I'd like to have a column that totals their scores. So let's add that column. I'm going to add that right here next to H. I'm going to insert one to the right and call this total. And we all know that the formula for totaling something could be equals sum. And I'm just going to have it sum these cells right here. Excellent. And if I want to do the same here, I can copy that down and down. So now I'm getting totals. OK. Let's go and submit another one and see what all happens here. I'm going to get some new lorem ipsum. OK, let's see what happens when I submit. I'm most interested in seeing um, how my formula turns out. So I submit that. Uh, I come over here. Here is my submission on Prince Jones. And the summary text is there, but that total is not happening. And I don't really want to have to come in here and fill that formula down each time. So we're going to talk about our very first add-on right now. When you submit a form, formulas don't copy down row to row to row. However, there is an add-on called copy down that will solve this problem for us. So if you don't have this add-on already, go down under the add-ons menu, down to get add-ons, do a search for copy down, and it will be installed in your add-ons menu. And once you've done that, it's there forever. Every time you open a spreadsheet, if you want to use this add-on, it's available to you. So I'm going to go down to copy down and choose copy down settings. And I'm going to turn copy down on. So now it's asking, what row is your formula in? Well, my formula is in row two. That's where I put the formula, right here in column I. 
So I'm going to just leave that at formula row being number two. And I'm going to have it paste that formula as a value. As new submissions come in, it's going to look at that formula, do the calculation, and then paste the value as a value. It's not going to paste it as a formula. And that is really what we want. We want the value to show up there. So I'm going to check that box and save those settings. Now that I've done that, let's go and try another submission. Should we get some new text? Might as well. Keep it fun. So if everything works as expected, when I click Submit here, all of those scores are going to go in. That formula is going to be calculated, and it's going to paste the values of the formula in the row. Here we go. There's our new row that just showed up. Here are the four scores that I had entered. And look at that we have a total. Now when I click this, you'll see it is just the total. It's not the formula. The formula doesn't get copied down. The formula is calculated and its total is put in this cell as regular data. And over here we have um, a new column that just helps us to know, um, it helps us to verify that indeed the copy down did work. So that's um, the very first part of the video here, using the copy down add-on to make a total for each of our submissions. In the next section, we're going to um, we're going to use the form mule add-on to email a summary of this observation to both the teacher and the administrator. We're not creating a document quite yet. We're just going to do an email.